Hello, artists. Uh, happy Friday. I'm so glad to see you again. Um, today, we are doing a really awesome drawing. We've been doing all of this sort of dimensional stuff, right? And it's always with a ruler and it's always really angular. Um, and we've had a couple really difficult drawings. So I wanted to give you a fun one. This is a, um, this is called, I call this hole in the paper, but it's actually best kind of viewed. Let me see if I can do it. It's kind of best if you view it on an angle and um, maybe like this. It's best if you view it on an angle and without being able to see that there really isn't a hole in the paper. So, <laughs> so this is a kind of a good way to like me peeking over even might kind of ruin it. I bet if you, I don't know, I'm trying to get a really good view. I don't know that I'm going to get one. Oh, well, maybe that's better. Anyway, as you can see, it's clearly a hole in the paper, which it isn't, but it's an illusion. That makes it really fun. I'm sorry. If you tend to be distracted, that's Sam surprised. And Sam surprised is going to be here for the rest of the week. So I'm not erasing him. Sorry. He ended up becoming a character in, um, in a lot of my, in my work today. So now he's here to stay at least for the week. So I hope you guys had a really great week. Um, it's really nice to be back in school. I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's so good to see everybody. And I know I'm not seeing you guys in person, but just, I think I have a little more energy seeing people in person that helps. So even though I have to wear a mask all day, it still is better to me. So, all right, for our project today, we need a straight edge. We need a piece of paper, right? We do need our graphite pencil. I just use a regular number two pencil today, nothing special. I did use a black pointed, a black um, ink marker, a fine tip marker, and a Sharpie marker. Now, if your Sharpie has a pretty good tip on it, and you can see this one does, I probably could have used this for the whole thing. Wouldn't have mattered so much. But um, this one does have a really nice tip. And it's kind of hard. You know how when you draw with Sharpies or if you kind of accidentally pound the tip a little bit, you can kind of flatten that tip out. This one was is still pretty hard. It's not soft. So it's pretty hard and it made a really nice, you know, you'll it may, makes really nice. Um, lines. You'll see when we get into the project, but I could probably use this for the whole thing, especially if I didn't have another one. But the fine line does does make a little bit of a difference. So I'm just letting you know what I used. Um, if, if I really wanted to do this drawing and I didn't have um, the fine tip marker or the, um, the Sharpie, I'd use whatever I had and try and make it work. So uh, just discovering even if it doesn't work out, discovery is a lot of art. You know, a lot of art is just try and step out. So what is art? What are our norms? We anticipate our mistakes. We respect the creative process and we try until we're satisfied. So, you know, you don't always go in with everything you need and you just try and make it work and have fun. So let's do that. Let's just jump in. Um, like I said today, I have a ruler. Uh, I I am not going to end up using this straight edge. I'm going to use my ruler, but it doesn't matter. Um, I've got my pencil. I've got my marker. I've got my pen, and I've got Sam surprise. Whoops, there he is. <laughs> so I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so here we are. This is my initial. Um, paper. I really, what I'm going to start with is a square on this piece of paper. And in order to do that, I'm using my straight edge and I don't really know about how wide I want that or how big I want my square, but you know, probably a little more than your, maybe like around your palm. And I don't know, since I'm using, since I'm not using a piece of paper for a straight edge, I am just going to mark right on my, um, on my ruler about where I want to go. So I'm just assuming that I'm going to go about this far. That's about right 
for me. And I don't have to mark it on any specific numbers, but I just am making a mark. And I would do the same if I was doing it with paper. Now, to make it the most square I can, I'm going to try and find something that's really square to guide me. Well, what's really square? Well, this paper has a really nice right angle right here and on this side and on the bottom, right on all four angles. So I can always follow this edge right here of the paper to give me a pretty good guide. I'm not going to be perfect, of course, but I'm really not aiming for perfection. I try never to aim for perfection, actually. So I'm going to just draw this first line. Okay, I'm going to rotate my paper and I'm going to draw the same line from my measurements. I'm going to line, this is where I drew my little line on my straight edge. So I'm going to draw it here. I'm going to try to line it up so that the distance between my ruler and the top of the paper is about the same all the way across. And I can kind of even just feel it with my finger. I put my, my finger up there and I just feel it and that is helpful is it perfect again no thank you and and I can even actually see that's not totally perfect no problem um, I'm going to draw the same length line again and I'm going to sort of try to I can feel this one is actually a little off so I'm going to try and adjust it and then just draw my line one more time. And now I don't need, um, I'm not going to use my measurements for this last one because depending on how crooked my other two lines, or my other three lines were if, um, and how much they don't match up, this one won't. Actually, this one does. This is, I just did a trial run before this and my other one was really bad. So maybe the second one you draw would be much better. In my case, um, it is. My first one was pretty wonky. It was pretty far off. No big deal. It does not have to be perfectly square. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to draw a line connecting both corners. Okay. So I'm going to connect both corners. And now here's the really easy part. Um, the easy part is that we're going to start drawing lines that are matching this outside and this outside line. So these two right here, this one and this one. I'm going to match those lines. So I'm going to draw one and I'm going to match it up to this one to make sure it's as parallel as I can make it. So it's not totally parallel, but you know, it's pretty darn good. How's that? That's nice. And then I'm going to match this corner up, right, and draw another line. So I'm going to make sure that it's, like, I don't want to draw it wonky like that, right? I don't want it to go way out there. That looks pretty good. And does it connect to this one? Well, I put my pencil here. Remember how we draw with our ruler. Put the pencil there. Arrange the whole line so that it looks pretty straight. And then just gently draw it. Okay? And then since I'm here, I'm not even going to turn my paper. I'm going to draw the next line with my straight edge. I'm just going to mark about where I want it. I'm going to draw it straight in. Then I can turn my paper and draw this one. Put my pencil right on the pen. Match it up to this one and draw it down. Okay? Since I'm here, I don't need to like move anywhere. I, can, I don't need to move my paper. I can just draw this line, match it up to this one, right? Now I can turn my paper, put my pencil at the corner where it meets, and draw this line. Um, put my pencil on, straighten that line as much as I can, draw it to the corner. Put my pencil back here, oops. It actually helps to have the ruler on this side so that I can match up to all of these lines. Right, if I put it on this side, I just can't see it at all. So I'm actually going to turn. I'm left-handed. You guys are probably most of you are not left-handed, so I'm turning my whole paper around because that confused me. Um, and then I'm just going to draw one line here. And I really only need maybe one more. Let's see what one more looks like. I want a square at the bottom, so... I also have to know I'm going to make um, alternating colors. 
So this is going to tell me if this is black, this would be white, black, white, black, white. I don't want to end on a white over here. So I'm going to put one more set of lines and that will be my black square because then I can end, start with a black and end on a black. That means I'll have an uneven number. One, two, three, four, five. That's six. I need six and then seven. So my, my inside square will be black and that will be the seventh. So I need one more set of lines and I'll be done. Okay, so here we go. We have our square with one, this is a stripe one, stripe two, stripe three, stripe four, stripe five, stripe six, and then seven is the square. Okay, and this is perfect. This is exactly what I need. Now, I'm going to draw, I want to take a thin pen. You could take like a ballpoint pen. You could take a bunch of different pens. Um, I'm going to take a thin pen, and I'm just going to draw the inside line. These are the only, this is the only line that is needs to be thin. So if you are really struggling and you only have a thick, like a thick Sharpie, this pen doesn't even work. I'm really struggling already. Okay, if you don't have a thin pen, don't sweat it too much. I'm just drawing this freehand. It's kind of scaring me a little bit, but worse things have happened, people. Okay, freehand, and it wasn't too bad. You can also, if you're really worried, like I am, not about messing up, not about not being perfect, but about not getting a nice inky line. So I want to double over my inky line. Okay, so really they don't look all that much different. So this is my line, here's my line, here's, here's my line there. I only need those done if I really want to be um, more, if I want to be more um, accurate about it, I can also do these lines right here. But this one I'm going to color, this whole stripe is going to be colored in black, so it's not going to matter too much. Okay. Um, I'm doing it just to show you that you can do it, and it's, you know, it's not going to be either here or there, because I'm going to demonstrate how to do it. I'll just leave that one that way so you can see how I'm going to do it, how I would do it with my Sharpie. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start coloring these in. And I'll speed this part up for you. Actually, let me show you how I'm going to color this last one in to show you how I'm going to make the line. I'm just going to take a straight edge. I'm going to put it right about here. And notice I'm leaving a little space because this is a pretty, uh, pretty thick tip. So if I was going to draw over here on my scratch paper, it's not that thin of a line. So I leave just enough space so that I have room to draw a thick line. So here I go. I'm going to draw a thick line to the corner. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to line my straight edge up with this line and draw another thick line right here. I'm also going to put my straight edge here. Again, look at the space I'm leaving for my line to be drawn. If I go like, if I move my ruler too far over this line, it's not going to be, it's, and it's going to be a little misdrawn. So this is just kind of a technique that's fun to do. So I'm going to draw my line here. Okay, and now all I have to worry about, see this is the line that I drew with my permanent marker. I could have drawn this one with my permanent marker too. I didn't. No big deal. Now I'm just going to start coloring this one in. And here's where I'm going to speed this up. Because I'm going to color in this one, not this one. I'm going to color in this one, right? Not this one. I'm going to color in this one not this one, and then I'm going to color in this central square. So I'm marking them right now so that I don't get confused and um, forget and mess up. That has been known to happen, at least for me. I'm going to color really close to the edges, too, just so you guys know. And like I said, we'll speed this part up.
Okay, we're done. So now we have this mark. Notice I did not draw this in with a really dark line. If you did, I'm sure there are some of you who will do this, and that is no big deal because you guys, honestly, I probably would have if I didn't know about this drawing, and I didn't specifically say not to, so some of you may have been really accurate. Um, I'm going to come in and erase sort of, there's a, there's a couple little extra pencil lines here, and then I drew these little arrows to just to remind you which lines we were following, so I'm going to erase those first. There's a little more pencil-y lines just on the edge. I'm not going to erase this middle one because that middle one is pretty important. Okay, and then I'm just going to erase like right under here on these. Okay, so this is looking pretty neat. Um, I'm already seeing the illusion even if you guys aren't. So now, this is what we were talking about with shading um, and all of the other things we've been doing. I'm going to shade this side in with my pencil. I'm going to shade in this square. I'm going to color this square in, okay? And I'm just going to shade it in. I'm drawing these lines parallel. My shading line is parallel to this one. Does not necessarily have to be because we're going to kind of blend it in. But if you do make it parallel, it's going to even increase the, um, the illusion. You're going to see it even more. So this is going to be my darkest, darkest shadow. And now I'm going to start again here at the center with these, you know, lines. And it's really nice because you can color back and forth over the, the dark. It doesn't, you're just not going to see. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to match my lines, my up and down to this center line. And I'm going to draw this one. And this one's going to be a little bit lighter, not quite so dark. And I can eat, you can even go like this if you want to keep those lines really neat and even and uniform. If you've got a good thing going, just draw right off of there and then come back in and watch this. This is what I love about erasers and coloring lightly on graphite. Look at how nice that looks, okay? And then again, this one's going to be even lighter, but I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to color and I'm matching my strokes. My drawing strokes are up and down and they're matching this angle right here. So this is why I show you this, right? I'm showing you this because this is important. It does keep, and I keep that angle the same way all the way across. Okay, and I'm not perfect, again, don't need to be. Right, we do hard things, we don't strive to be perfect, for sure. Okay, so now I'm gonna erase this little excess that I have over there. And I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to kind of smear these um, these rectangles up. I'm going to smear them up a little bit so that they are shadowed. I'm going to go over this one to make it so I'm looking in my camera and I can actually see better in my camera. This one I want to be darkest, and then a little bit lighter. This one is real dark in the center, but it, it isn't. I can see, I can't really see it in person actually, that's funny, but I want it to be a little lighter and I want it to be right here. And then this one is going to be my lightest one, but I'd like it to kind of be even. So I'm going to go over it one more time. And then again, maybe I'll go in with my finger and just kind of smear it a little bit. And so now we're actually done and I'm going to show you. Um, this is an illusion. This is our illusory drawing. It's an illusion. Once I, when you look at this, you can see that this is a hole. This is the bottom of my hole cut in the paper and it looks like it's going down. You see it? Then it helps if you turn it a different way maybe. Now it looks like the hole's going back. Now it looks this way. And there you go. Very simple.
well, here we are on the other side. So we made it. And hopefully um, you guys have a great poll in the paper. I don't know. Who knows? Sam seems surprised. All right. If you guys did this, especially if you guys, okay, here's the thing. If you guys did this and you did not have the correct materials, so you used different materials, please let me know because I'd really actually love to see this. One of the things that I think makes this more successful is the difference between the really deep dark of the um, black Sharpie marker and then the sort of light shadowy gray of the pencil. This is one of those times where I think that materials can make the difference here. So if you use it and you didn't have those materials, let me know. I'm really excited to kind of see how that turned out. If you did have the materials, I still want to see it. These kind of look so cool. And I hope you guys have fun. I don't know, leaving that hole somewhere on the floor or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe enjoy. Enjoy it. However, again, send your stuff here and I will see you next Friday. Have an awesome weekend. Have a great week in school and I'll see you then. Take care. Bye.